The victim had no clue he had been followed until robber grabbed his backpack. A brief struggle led the man to slam the victim to the ground. The victim refused to give up his backpack. One robber punched and kicked the victim as he screamed out for help. A mechanic working nearby ran up behind a fence telling the robbers to stop. Another witness stood 20 feet away. While the accomplice walked off, the man in the gray hoodie kept punching the victim. That's the horrifying part. They were obviously very committed to getting what to get off the, uh, the victim. He learned from Oakland police the robbers started following the victim at West Oakland Bar at three blocks away. Here's footage of them tailing him. Mark Getty owns and trains racehorses in Italy and is one of over 15 grandchildren of oil billionaire and art collector J. Paul Getty. Mark has also built a global media empire called Getty Images. Its newest office is in Los Angeles. On a hilltop not far from Getty Images is the Getty Center Museum. It has a priceless collection of art. And it's one of the wealthiest institutions of its kind in the world. It's only part of the legacy of Mark's grandfather, J. Paul Getty. There are few families in history who have accumulated more wealth, collected more art, and given more money away than the Gettys. When J. Paul Getty died in 1976, the billionaire typecast as a miser would leave the most generous endowment in history to an art museum. Three generations of Gettys have used art and wealth to change the art world and British culture forever. Exclusive. Two East Bay teenagers arrested for killing a man all over an iPhone 10. The victim, a 32 year old father from Redwood City. That led detectives to 18 year old Jordan Patton and 18 year old Marcus Fortune. Both graduated from San Leandro High School in May. It's pretty sad that we have two young people just starting out their life involved in what ultimately becomes a murder robbery. Detectives say Fortune pulled the trigger and Patton drove the getaway car. They say Patton had never been in trouble before and was a football player at Chabot College in Hayward. When these people responsible for this look back on it over time, they're going to realize, wow, I took another person's life for a phone. 